Hi, and welcome to the MyLoft user guide training video. In this brief video, we will show you some of the basic features of MyLoft that will allow users to access, discover, organize, and share subscribed e-resources from your library. The first step to logging into MyLoft is locating the welcome email that you should have received in your eBox. If by chance you are unable to locate it, even in the spam folder, please contact your library administrator to make sure you have an active account. Once you have located the email, depending on your institution's login process, you will have a few options. In the case of users using an institutional email to access MyLoft, we will refer you to the institutional email login tutorial video in our tutorial library. Other users may see a configure password button here in the email. You may click on the button and you'll be redirected to create your password for your account. Make sure you follow the instructions, including an uppercase letter, lowercase letter, at least one number, and at least one special character. From there, you will be able to access your MyLoft account. Once you have created your account and your password or are accessing from the first time from a new device, you will arrive here at app.myloft.xyz. Here, you will need to select your institution from the search bar and sign in using your credentials, depending on your institution. If this is the first time entering MyLoft on this device, it will be necessary, as you can see, to download the MyLoft extension. This extension exists for both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. All you need to do is click on the button and add the extension to your browser. If by chance, after downloading the extension, you do not see it in your navigator bar, you, all you need to do is click on the extensions button and pin the extension. Now you are able to access subscribed e-resources from anywhere and at any time. To access those subscribed e-resources from the institution, we will click on the e-resource tab on the left and choose what we'd like to search for. In this case, we will select databases and we will be shown an A to Z listing of the databases your institution provides for you. From here, we can click on any of these databases, journals, or ebooks, and we will be directed to the publisher site, authenticated as a user of your institution with access provided by your institution. No additional login necessary. When we find any content that is of our interest and we'd like to save it for future reading, all we have to do is click on the extension button and save the content. Here we can also add tags or add it to a specific collection if we would like to. All of the content we save through the web portal is automatically synchronized with our mobile app for consumption there as well, providing a truly anywhere and anytime access. We can return to our MyLoft home portal and see the article we have recently saved. Apart from allowing us to access and discover e-resources, MyLoft gives us the ability to organize our e-resources to best suit our needs. By using favorites, collections, and tags, we personalize our own library with the content most relevant to us. By clicking on the Collections tab on the left side, we can see the different user-created collections where we can store our saved content depending on the topic or research we are currently working on. We can easily move content from one folder to another by clicking on 
the three dots action button and clicking move and then selecting the collection we would like to send it to. We can also further categorize and organize our content by placing tags on the content to allow better search terms for future reference. Favorites is the final way that we can personalize our library by selecting certain articles, databases, journals, or ebooks as favorites and having them all located in one simple location for easy and seamless access. One final feature of MyLoft is the ability to share content with our peers and colleagues. We can do this by once again clicking on the three dots of an article and clicking the share button. On the web, we are provided with two options, sharing through other platforms, Facebook or Twitter, or sharing through MyLoft. If we place the email address of our peer or colleague, they will receive a notification of the shared article, and as long as they have the same access permissions, they will have seamless access to the shared content. These are just a few of the most basic features of MyLoft that allow all users to access, discover, organize, and share e-resources subscribed by the institution.